Engineer775 here. Uh, one of the questions I get a lot about water systems is uh, can I build a water tower uh, to get the pressure I need? There's a lot of people that can't take advantage of, of gravity based on their location. And I tell them it's a lot less expensive to put in a booster pump, a solar booster pump, not just any one. I'm going to show you this system. But uh, people say, well, how high do I have to build a tower? One of the simplest calculations is taking the pressure that you want, say at your shower head or in the kitchen, and multiply it by 2.31. So let's say you want 50 PSI in the house. Your water tower would have to be <clears throat> 115 feet tall. So picture a 115 foot tower in your backyard with a tank on top. That's what these booster systems are doing for you in essence. So that could be very expensive to build a tower that's 115, 120 foot tall. So uh, let me show you the components of the system. And uh, on this system, this is the first 24 volt uh, booster system I've done. It's very efficient, very um, low amperage, uh, running a little over seven and a half amps at 50 psi, and plenty of water, plenty of water pressure, and uh, it's working really good. Let me show it to you. Okay, the system always starts with a well, so we had a well drilled in in here, and we've put the solar submersible, which I've shown you plenty of times before. That's in there. Hand pumps, as you see, are in there. But uh, on this system, we've put in a 24 volt Dankoff uh, flow light booster pump with a you know the standard pre filter and just mounted it vertically. It has a, a cool new dry run switch. They've improved that on this model. So i um, been enjoying working with Dankoff Solar and being able to give them feedback and, and work with them. Great bunch of guys. Um, also, um, there's a lot of charge controllers on the market and I just wanted to share this flex charge charge controller with you. This tiny little thing got them all over the world. It's a, it's a neat charge controller in that it uses a different algorithm. It's not an MPPT. Um, you'd have to go to their website, and which is uh, flexcharge.com, and you can read about it. But I've been using them. This is uh, the fourth one I've used. And they're, uh, as it says, ultra high efficiency. They brag about their algorithms for charging batteries. So uh, it's uh, tiny, adjustable, and it works extremely well. And you see the connections, and it's important that you fuse your systems properly. And so um, that's pretty much it. And I just put two, um, 20, two 12 volt batteries in series to make a little 24 volt battery bank for this. And what we're finding is at 50 psi, um, we're pulling about 7.5 amps. Max amp rating on the pump is 15, so we're well within our operating range. The other thing is the solar, when the solar is on the pump, sorry, on the panel, that the panels are putting out 8.3 volt uh, amps, and so uh, the solar is matched nicely, meaning on a sunny day, uh, you can, the solar panel direct will run the, has enough energy to run the pump, and you're not going to pull any energy out of the batteries. So this is classic when I tell people, you know, make hay while the sun shines or pump water while the sun is shining or do what you need to do. You become a, if you become a good power manager um, with off-grid equipment, you will save your batteries. You'll greatly increase the life of the battery. So we um, tie this all into a, a bladder tank and put a 3050 standard pressure switch in the system. It's wired though for DC and I've seen, I think you've seen this before. I just want to show you again that the positive is is broken. I'm using all the contacts and the negative um, goes all the way through, passes through from the motor to the batteries directly. And everything is fused correctly, fused sized right. And uh, can't see the way I've plumbed this, but the water from the source is coming up through here, is being boosted up and then returned down to here to the home. So the system has been tested, got good uh, 50 PSI at the shower head. I can crank up the switch if I want a little bit, but there's no sense that 50 PSI is sufficient in the home. So what you're seeing in here is equivalent to a 120 foot tall water tower. 
and it's obviously not as uh, obvious because people are going to see 120 foot water towers and know that you have something that they don't so I found these systems to be extremely reliable if they're uh, plumbed according to the specs and you keep an eye on your pre-filter and you're pulling you have uh, very you know depends on your water quality but here it's fantastic so we should have to change the filter out for at least six months it'll run without the filter but to get that extraordinary 15 20 year life out of the system um, the key is this pre-filter 10 micron pre-filter all right I think that's it and uh, this is again a 24 volt booster system that uh, you would put in in place of a water tower or an elevated tank just elevating a tank 20 30 feet is a huge project doesn't get you much as opposed to boosting it up to what you're used to in terms of water pressure and water volume so that's it from engineer 775 signing off